Hey guys, it's Justin again with another completed kit. Uh, this one is a lot different than anything I've done before. Uh, this was a build off with my good friend Jerome. Uh, he runs Merp and Plastic over on Facebook. I'll put a link to that down below so you guys can go and follow him. He's like a kit bash maniac. The dude is. He has some really cool ideas, uh, and I love his work. Uh, everything he does is hand brushed and all that. Uh, but when I discovered Kingdom Death, and then I met some of my modeling buddies, uh, later down the road I was introduced to Jerome. Jerome comes from a miniature background, and that's why he hand paints all his minis, I believe. Uh, you'd have to ask him yourself about that one. I don't know for sure, but that's my guess. Um, and I think it, it really suits him well. I think it separates him from everybody else. It makes his, his kit stand out and look very unique. Uh, plus it shows that he puts that much more work and effort into, into making his products look nice and making his kits look good. Um, anyway, uh, I wound, you know, I've been on this big Kingdom Death Kick, uh, and I've been buying the, uh, the pinup minis and the, the limited exclusives and things like that. And they put one out a couple months ago, uh, the Fighter. Uh, where did I put the box? She was uh, a limited kit, and we both went ahead and grabbed one, and we decided to do a build off. So uh, here's mine, or here's the uh, the art card that came with mine. This is what she looks like. She's got like maggots running through her hair, and apparently. Uh, they constantly sap her life and all this other stuff. She's got like a backstory and all this cool stuff. Uh, I don't remember the specifics, but something about her, you know, being awake constantly. That's why she's got that crazy look in her eye and stuff like that. Um, but I'd never touched one of these things before, and I decided to give it a shot. I figured uh, if I was going to do it, a build off is definitely the best way for me to do it because. Um, it, it makes me put my best foot forward and you know since he comes from a miniature background he knows what he's doing I've got some some buddies who do minis and stuff like that but you know I'm not that good myself so I've been learning and chipping away and this is my first actual mini you know on my own no instruction uh, I mean I've had a lot of help uh, especially from Big Z uh, but here she is she's all finished she's painted uh, I, I kind of diverted a little bit from the original color scheme. Uh, I went a little more black and red, some uh, highlights. Uh, I went with purple for the base. Um, but I kept her mostly the same. Uh, she's, she's still got black hair, which I really like. Uh, Jerome did his with, a, with red hair, and now I'm like, I should have painted mine as a redhead, because I like redheads. <laughs> but, uh, you know... I, I really like it. I think it's really cool. I think it really came out pretty good. Uh, I could have definitely done better. Obviously, this is my first, like, mini ever. Uh, so, you know, if I could go back, I guess I'd do a little bit more highlighting and try and uh, fancy up my brushwork a little bit. Uh, some of my brushwork's a little rough. Uh, but I got most of the nooks and crannies. I uh, had a little bit of trouble with assembly, like some of the super glue didn't stay when it should have, and things like that, uh, but super simple to deal with problems. Um, she came out beyond better than I thought she would, uh, and I have nothing but thanks to say to Big Z for that one. He's the one who uh, taught me how to blend and highlight blacks. Uh, he's the one who gave me this uh, skin tone technique. Uh, I mean, it's not like he sat down with me, but he was like, hey, this is what you gotta do. And I did it, and it worked. Uh, but I just kind of tried to layer everything a little bit, so there's no, like, single flat colors on here. Everything is at least uh, two colors. Uh, some, some spots have three, four, five little layers, uh, but I don't think it goes beyond that. Um, I just kind of airbrushed the base super glued it all together, flat coated it, and I'm really happy. So I'm going to put a gallery after this, so if you guys decide to stick around and listen to me ramble, um, I'll put a gallery after this. There's not a whole bunch of pictures, but I wanted to kind of take a bunch and, and, oh, and show her off so you guys can see what she looked like all finished. Uh, but if you check over at the Kingdom Death site, there's a whole bunch of minis that pop up. They come in and out. They're very limited. 
Uh, there's also like full sets. Uh, I have one of the sets right here. Uh, this is the Pinups collection. It's a collection of eight minis. Yeah, eight. Yeah. And uh, I'm actually working on another one. I guess I can show you that. This is the, I believe, the Savior. Um, she's just primed right now. Uh, I was kind of getting a feel for the lighting and stuff like that. But she's all squared away for paint. So that is going to be for my friend Richard. Um, and his fiance, and one of my close friends, my ex-singer. Uh, Sarah wants one as well. So I, I'm waiting to find out what she wants. I'm probably just going to paint them together. Uh, so that I can kill two birds with one stone, I guess. But anyway, um, that's that. Hopefully you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys with the next work in progress for the Sea Gundam. That's coming very soon. Uh, love you guys. Later.